so I'll sing you this. This is a song called Valentina. Um, it started with this riff actually. I get ideas from from all over the place, but most of my songs tend to be based on some kind of some kind of story, whether it be be true or be partially true and partially just embedded. And I guess like um, my kind of ethos is generally just trying to keep it super simple from a musical point of view because I feel like it's easier to it's easier to uh, relate to something that's quite easy on the, maybe easy on the ear, but also not too kind of complicated. Where I tend to start from is, well actually, the, coming down to the question that it's probably going to be after some point, music or lyrics first, and generally I'll start with a, like a lyric, maybe one line or something that I quite like, maybe it's sort of come to me as I'm walking down the street or just out and about and if I'm lucky I'll have something to jot it down or stick it in the old phone. I know keeping a book's a really important thing and, and going back to it as well, sometimes you look at something and you, you, you go, I've got one next to bed and you look at what you've written and you go, that's just absolute nonsense. But then you go back a few weeks later and it just sparks something off and you're like, that's brilliant, I can actually do something with this. Um, so, yeah, keep, keep a good record and record everything. Like I'm sure all of you have got phones that you can record stuff on. So just record wee bits, it's, it's well worth it. Very often, I don't know if this happens to you, very often you find that over a period of a month or so, you've got a whole lot of ideas that all kind of tie together. You've, you've actually been writing something that you don't really know, you've done it all the wee lines join up and you can make something out of them. See when you sit down, what a lot of people do is they start changing chords really quickly and there's you can definitely get a better melody if you sit on one chord. I mean, that the, that song that, that Louis played that has two chords in it, you really have to come up with a good melody because you've only got two chords. So you're forced to go up and find the top of your vocal range and, and the bottom of your vocal range to make to make it more interesting. So staying on one chord is a good thing. Which is also really a good way, coming back to the lyric thing, of, of, of not getting trapped into that way of just writing things that sound like they're really overused or you left me, I'm really sad oh, how will I ever get over it um, you know, to like read as much as you can just anything, literature or newspapers or anything that sort of stimulates your brain I enjoy just finding out everything about songwriting how to get around problems that you'll find yourself in It was very useful because like, like I kind of want to write songs but I'm not sure, like I know how to do it, but not really, like it, it gave me the confidence. It was good, I got a lot of information from it, like, it was good to like kind of see how they started off and stuff. It was very fun, I learned a lot of stuff I didn't know already and I think my songwriting improved drastically after this. Um, I liked when they played their own songs, because they're, they're really good. <laughs> it was really interesting and I thought um, it was just it was right down my street how they played and it was the style I liked to listen to. So. Yeah, I love acoustic guitars. I wasn't so easy to leave behind. Out of sight is out of mind.